Paul, a different story than the game we saw last night. What did you like most about how your team responded here uh, in this one? You know, you know, kind of like we had last week at home. We had to, you know, endure a long delay before we got started. Uh, I think it was a little bit uh, up in the air as to whether we were going to get a chance to play what we did. It worked out well for us. Um, you know, I, th I think Mejia did a nice job. He, you know, he's shown some adeptness at being able to handle um, base runners and pitch out of jams. He did a couple times early, made some really good pitches. And, uh, you know, we had, we had base runners all night long. We didn't get a lot of big hits, but we got one that really counted. You know, Mitch getting a 1-0 fastball like that and taking him deep. And then, uh, you know, I thought the missed opportunities were going to make it at least somewhat exciting at the end, in which it did, um, but we were able to hold it down. And so it's a good win and a good response to last night. And what was the situation with Mejia and the, the wrist strain? Uh, I came off the field. He said the last pitch he threw, he had kind of a, a stinging effect um, in the lower left forearm, closer to the wrist that kind of radiated up through the elbow. Uh, there was some swelling in the area. Um, you know, we got him checked out. We, we, we think it's uh, a mild strain. We're going to see how it reacts tomorrow, see if we can get it under control. I don't think we'll make any decision on his next start until we get a look at him tomorrow. How impressive was Eddie Rosario's night at the plate? It was great. I mean, he's facing a really good pitcher who's been hot. You know, the numbers jump out at you, especially over his last handful of starts. Uh, did a nice job beating the shift. Um, you know, two-strike ball. He made a really aggressive play going to second. I thought it was a good play at the time. Um, and then and, and hit, some, hit some tough pitches for hits. Even the last one that he flied out to the left, he just missed. He, he was on the ball all night. So Mejia's thing started in the wrist but kind of went up through his arm? I think it, was, it was, like I said, lower forearm. I, was, I, just, I don't really know the medical term for it. It's something that I hadn't really heard. Um, not accustomed to seeing that, I think, in a pitcher, especially in a one-pitch effect like that. But um, Mejia said he's feeling a lot better post-game than he did right after it occurred. So... We'll give him a chance to respond tonight uh, with treatment, and uh, we'll bring him in tomorrow and get, try to get a better feel. And he has, that's the first time he felt like yeah. that. Yeah, like actually, we had the upper upper arm when we had to back him off, but this this was something different. So you'll, you'll hold off to tomorrow before you make a decision. If yes. you have pictures taken or anything like that, right? Yeah, I, I don't think it's I, that. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think it's going to be uh, some other, whether it's you know, our staff or doctor reevaluate tomorrow, but. Um, Looking at Sunday as his next slotted start, so we'll, we'll give it 24 hours and before we make a call. Along with pitching, uh, it seemed like you guys bounced back hitting tonight. This is the fifth time you guys were out against Carrasco, and it's been before it was two starts he really got to you. Yeah. Two starts you guys got to him. What's been the key to success? How you guys? Yeah, really you know, it's, you know, I don't know how many hits he ended up giving up himself. Um, you know, Rosie got four of them. Uh, but as he can, you know, he made a lot of good pitches. He, he was a little bit different, I thought, in, in his mix tonight. Um, the breaking ball was a lot more present. Uh, the change was there, too. But, you know, we got a lot of swing and misses on that breaking ball. Um, strikeouts started mounting. And, and when he had people on, he made good pitches, except the one that Garber got a hold of.